Okay, fuel pressure, fuel supply pressure controlled by fuel pressure regulator. The job of the fuel pressure is to maintain the pressure across the injectors for different loads. Most of them work off manifold vacuum. Here, see the manifold vacuum source? They have an inlet line and a return line back to the gas tank. They also have spring internally. The spring also helps control the fuel supply to the injectors. With vacuum on this line here, if vacuum overcomes the spring tension and the fuel is going in, is returned back to the gas tank. Let me say it differently. There's a certain amount of fuel that's going into the fuel pressure regulator. This regulator is calibrated due to the spring. When vacuum is on this line, this diaphragm overcomes the spring. And a calibrated amount of fuel is going right back to the gas tank. When the fuel pressure, when there's more fuel needed for different loads, say I'm at idle on the on ramp, I need to hit the gas pedal hard to get past a truck or get on the on ramp, I need more fuel. This, we're going to lose vacuum here. The spray is going to push this diaphragm down and block some of the fuel that's going back to the gas tank to give you a little higher pressure. So the regulated job is to maintain a fuel pressure across the injectors across the injectors with different loads. Now they do have let me see they do have now they're on the newer cars they do have regulators that's electrically controlled by voltage. You can see here we just talked about the mechanical regulator the one we just seen was mechanical a pressure regulator circulates fuel inside the tank sometimes include a filter then we have an electrical regulator. This one, is, this one is controlled by no vacuum, by electrical signal from the PCM. And it regulates how much fuel the injectors will, re will, re will receive under different loads. Uh, so here it says that the, electrically, the electrical regulator, electrically regulated uses ECM or the sl or slave module to control voltage to the pump requires pressure sensor inputs. So now, going back to this, the fuel pressure regulator job is to maintain a pressure across the injectors with different loads. It returns any excessive pressure back to the fuel tank it's not using. Under a load, we lose vacuum to the fuel pressure regulator and a spring internally is calibrated to close the regulator a certain amount. So we can maintain our pressure across the injectors for those loads. All regulators are not mechanically controlled, mechanical control like with vacuum. There are some, like you see on the slide, electrically controlled by the PCM and other inputs to radiate the fuel in the fuel injection rail. Okay, let's move to the next one. Peace.